Sad news in the world of cruising today as we had a tragic but avoidable death in the cruise industry. I'll be back to tell you all about it right after this. Welcome back, folks. Thanks for staying through the intro. And before we begin, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Cedar Trans. If you're traveling into Orlando, Florida, possibly going on a trip out of Port Canaveral, Cedar Trans is one of the best transportation companies out there. Private luxury vehicles at very low prices will bring you from the doorstep or airport right up to the terminal, and you can't go wrong with Cedar Trans. Don't hop the big bus where you're going to be spending time with everybody else visit Cedar Trans. I'll put their phone number on the screen below as well as in the description. One more thing before we get into today's story, we're gonna try something fun. We have a Facebook group, if you didn't already know, that has about 200,000 members and all day long we discuss carnival cruising. Well, in my videos, in some of my videos over the next couple of months, you're gonna see a Facebook code word. That code word, if you go over to our Facebook group, and there's a link in the description down below, and you private message me that code word. Don't put it in the group or you'll automatically be disqualified, but private message me the code word and you'll be in a drawing for a t-shirt that we'll be giving away from this contest. And the last thing I wanna go over with you before we go over today's video is you may have noticed I'm missing a tooth. A front tooth of that, my absolute nightmare in life. I was eating a pretzel the other night and crunch, and my tooth fell out. I am getting it worked on, it will be back, but you will see in the next few videos, you're gonna see a space in my tooth. So I wanted to put that out front. And now let's get on with the story. And as I said, it's a tragic story for the cruise industry and for Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas in general. They were visiting Roatan, Honduras this week when a father of four met his demise. If you've been to Roatan, Honduras, you know that the piers are quite high. They're not just above the surface of the sea that you'll find in many locations. Now reports are saying that he jumped off. Uh, it's not 100% sure that he slipped off, but it does seem unlikely that it was a slip and fall. When Edmund David Ruckard's family realized he was not coming back up to the surface, they did call for help, and help immediately came where they performed CPR and life-saving activities on him for well over an hour, but unfortunately, he was pronounced dead at the scene. I have to tell you, I hate reporting on deaths on cruise ships because it makes it sound like cruise is an unsafe way to travel, and nothing can be further from the truth. You're much more likely to get hurt on land than you are ever traveling by sea. So please don't take this video as a way of saying, hey, I don't want to cruise because it's not safe, because I promise you, it is. I'll see you next time, right here on the Destinations Channel. I uh, really uh, don't know why it is that uh, all of us are so committed to the sea. I think it's because, in addition to the fact that the sea uh, changes, and the light changes, and uh, ships change, it's because uh, we all came from the sea. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. 